Hey guys, in today's video, you're gonna learn all the basic tools of Photoshop. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to open up a new project on Photoshop and work with layers, how to add images to your project, how to add text to that project, how to crop those images and edit those text. If you just learn those basic things, you'll know the basics of Photoshop. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to create images like this. You'll see, so you've probably seen these um, uh, coming up online. It's kind of like a nice looking image with some motivational quotes on it. And this is a good way to learn the basics of Photoshop. So uh, there's this website here called pixels.com. So I'm going to take some of these images here. These are all copyright free images that we can use. And I'm going to add some motivational text over it. And I'm also going to crop these images so it looks good. And, and it looks also kind of relates to our uh, motivational quote that we're going to put on it. So first thing is I need a motivational quote. So I'm going to uh, look for uh, maybe this one here. Life is short. There's no time to leave important words unsaid. So that's pretty good. So let's take that one here. So I'm going to go, go into Photoshop. And this is the dashboard of Photoshop right here. And if you click on create new, this document will come up right here. So this is where you choose the width and the height of your document or, or the width and height of your image. So let's say I'm going to print out a poster and it's 300 millimeters in width. I just choose 300 here and I choose millimeters right here. You can also choose centimeters, pixels, inches, anything that you want. But I usually uh, just work with the millimeters and there's the height. I'm going to choose it, uh, leave it at 600 uh, millimeters and the resolution. I'm going to type in 300. So if, if you're actually planning to print out what you're creating on Photoshop, then the resolution has to be 300 and pixels per inch. So that's the resolution most printers look for. Actually, all printers look for. But let's, let's say you're just planning to post this online to like, uh, uh, to Instagram or to Facebook or something like that. Then you just need to leave it at 72. Uh, but in this case, I'm actually going to leave it at 300. The rest of uh, this right here, I usually just leave it as it is. Uh, uh, I usually just leave this at RGB uh, color. So RGB stands for red, green, and blue. And those are the colors that we're going to work with. And the background color just needs to be white for now. Uh, we can change that later on. So I'm going to click on create. And this is the canvas here. So right away, you notice that the canvas is quite long. So what people usually do here is they just start over. They close this and they start from scratch. They click on create new and, and choose a different width and height. But there's a few ways you can change this right here. So if you choose this tool, it's called crop tool. If you click on that, all of these little um, controls come up on the canvas. And you can use this to resize the canvas. So I'm going to resize it. Uh, just the right proportions that I want. And if I hit enter, it uh, just resizes the entire thing. But let's say you want to be more precise. If you click on image at the top and you click on canvas size, you can be more precise right here. So you can choose uh, millimeters here. And I can say the width is 400. And I can say the height is uh, 550. And click on OK and click on proceed. It's going to say it's going to resize this canvas. I'm just going to click on proceed and that and, and that makes it more precise. So now we have uh, an image or a uh, canvas uh, uh, ready to work with. So first thing is, let's just add the text that we want. So the text was uh, life is short. There's no time to leave important words unsaid. So let's just type that in. So I'm going to go into Photoshop here and I'm going to choose this T icon. So this is the text icon. So let's choose that and I'm going to just uh, just click and it's going to type in a little bit of text, but you can't see the text right now because it's uh, white colored. So if I just highlight all of this and I'm going to choose the color icon at the top and I'm just going to choose black. There we go. And right now it's got a random um, kind of like a written font. And uh, but before I actually change the font, I'm going to change the, the alignment. So right now it's, it's aligned to the uh, left. So if I start typing, it starts typing from this side, but I actually wanted to, wanted to start typing from the center. So I'm going to choose that. So every time I type now, it's going to type from the center. So I'm going to move this to the center, right in the center right here. And now I'm going to change the font. So let's highlight this. So there's a few uh, fonts you can choose from. So I'm going to choose uh, one of my favorite fonts is Roboto right here. Uh, and let's start typing in uh, our text right here. So it said, Life is short, there is no time. So let's type that in. 
life is short there is no time and what was the rest no, no time to leave important words unsaid no time to leave important words so it's kind of uh, gone off a little bit there but it doesn't matter we can just move it to the top important words and i'm just going to type in unsaid so uh so it's gone off the canvas a little bit so now if you just click away it just types everything in and it's gone off the canvas so what we can do is click on this little move icon on the top and i'm going to just going to drag and drop this to the top there we go so life is short there is no time there's no time to leave important words unsaid. Cool. So uh, if you notice on the right hand side, there's a layers panel. So if you don't see this layers panel, you can go to windows and you can choose layers right here. So make sure layers is ticked on. So this is a really important panel on Photoshop. And this is how you work with different layers. So the first layer is the background layer. That's the white background layer. The second layer is the text layer. So that's the text that we typed on top of that background layer. So uh, let's say I, I add an image, we can, uh, we can put it on top of this image, or uh, top of this text, or we can put the text on top of the image. And the way we do that is through layers. And you'll learn uh, how to do that uh, soon in this video. So first, let's just edit this text and make it a bit smaller. So there's a few ways to make this text a bit smaller. So you can go make sure the text layer is chosen right here. And you can go edit, free transform. So that gives you a few control controls right here. So if you hold shift and if you make it a bit smaller, it gets smaller. But if you don't hold shift, it gets a bit disproportionate like this. So you don't want that to happen. So you want to, you want to keep the size all proportionate. So I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to move this back to the center and I'm going to hit enter. Uh, next thing, I'm going to make all of this a bit more bold. So right here under the fonts, just next to it, you can make this uh, bold. So I'm going to choose this one. So that looks a bit better. So yeah, it looks quite similar to this now. So we can make it a little bit smaller, I think. So it actually fits in a bit better. There we go. And now what I want to do is add some nice looking images in the background. So there's a few ways of doing this. Uh, uh, let's just look for some inspiration from some of these images here. So I just typed in motivational quote or inspirational quote on Photoshop. And let's just go into, yeah, pixels.com and let's find a nice looking image. This one's pretty good, I think. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm just gonna click on copy image. And let's go back to Photoshop and I'm gonna paste that in. So go edit, paste, or you can even go control V. So uh, just delete that and you can go control V or command V if you're on a Mac and they'll just paste in that image. So again, I'm gonna uh, go to, uh, there's uh, two different uh, layers now. So I'm gonna choose the image layer. So I might even rename this layer to the image layer. So I can re remember what that layer is. So it just automatically names it layer one. And then if you add another layer, it'll just name it layer two. But usually I like to name all of my layers so I can keep everything organized. So I'm gonna choose the image layer and I'm gonna choose edit, free transform. And I'm gonna make the image a bit bigger. And again, I'm holding shift to keep this image uh, more proportionate. So I'm just gonna make this, I'm just gonna make it take up the entire canvas. And I'm gonna hit enter. And there we go, we have a nice looking image here. So we just made that image quite big. And when you make the images a bit too big, then it, it can get a little pixelated. So what we can do to check if it's too pixelated is by choosing this little zoom icon here. And if you click on 100% at the top, so make sure you choose the zoom icon and then at the top, 100%. And that'll zoom in, uh, zoom in quite far. And this is what the image will look like when you print it out. So it shows you the quality of the image when, uh, uh, when you print it out. So if you're, if you're happy with that, then you can leave it as it is. If you're not, then you might have to make the image a bit smaller. So I'm happy with this, so I'm just gonna zoom out. There we go. So now we can't actually see the text that we typed in. So what I'm going to do is move, go to the layers panel here and move the text um, layer to the top 
of the image layer. So now we have a nice looking image uh, with some text on top of it. So we can experiment with this and check what kind of color actually stands out on this image. So we can make this white if you wanted to. So let's just highlight all of this and go to the colors icon and let's just try white. So it's easier to read here, but it's not easy to read up there. So what we can do is maybe actually make the background layer a bit darker. And the way that we do that, there's a few ways to do this. So you can add in a new layer. And in this new layer, I'm just going to type in black. And I'm just going to take the paint bucket tool. So this is the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to choose the black color. So right here, just click here and choose black and click on OK. And now I'm just going to paint in black in that entire layer right here. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to choose that black layer and I'm going to choose the opacity to be at uh, 50%. Uh, right here, 50%. So you can even just type in 50. There we go. So we have a black color that's lowered the opacity to 50%. And now it makes it a lot easier to read that text. And we can all still see the image in the background quite clearly as well. So that's one option. So let me just delete that black layer. And there's another option. And you can uh, choose uh, which one works best for you. This one is called the selective color option. This one's a little bit more advanced. So if you click on this little circle icon here at the top, and you click on selective color right here. That brings up this layer right here. This is called the selective color um, layer. And basically anything below this layer, it changes the color. So uh, when you click on this layer, it comes up with this properties panel at the top. So you can notice that there. So if I click on this, this properties panels comes up and you can choose different colors. So you can choose all the red colors from this image. You can choose all the blue colors from this image. Um, so most of the colors from this image is kind of slightly blue and purple. So I'm going to choose the blue colors and you can change that. So you can change it. You can just kind of play around with this, these tools right here. And you can see it's kind of changing the colors to like purple, maybe a slightly darker. And the whole point is I'm trying to make this text a bit more easier to read. And maybe I can choose the whites at the top to be a little bit darker. So let's choose that and maybe just make it slightly darker. There we go. So now it's becoming a bit more clearer. And maybe I'll choose the yellow colors this time. So that's not really changing much. Um, let's try the neutral. So the neutral part is just everything, just chooses all the colors and it just slightly changes everything. So that's a bit more intense, but you can experiment with what works best for your image. So I'm going to make this slightly darker here. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So I think I actually like that image here. It's not kind of yellow. You can still kind of read the text as well. So there's one more thing you can do to make this even more um, readable and just because uh, it's still kind of hard to read at the top here. So what you can do is add a shadow. So I'm going to choose the text color here and I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to choose layer style. And when you click on layer style, there's this option here called drop shadow. So let's click on that. And you can see immediately just put in a shadow below that text. So let me just uh, click on OK. And right here, there's a few options under the layers, um, under the layer, uh, text layer right here. So if I click off this little eye icon, you can see the difference. When I click it on, it just adds in the shadow. So the shadow makes it slightly easier to read. And if you double click on the drop shadow option here, this window pops up. So let me just do that again. Just double click the drop shadow uh, layer right here. And you can play around with the shadow now. So let's say you want the shadow to be a bit more sharp, a bit bigger, then you can actually play with the distance of the shadow. So let me just up the opacity of the shadow. So the shadow becomes a lot darker. And maybe the shadow's distance needs to be a bit lower. Let me just play around with all of this and the spread. So the shadow becomes a little bit bigger and the size of the, uh, so I'm going to lower the sh shadows opacity. Maybe the distance needs to be slightly lower and the spread needs to be slightly higher. Cool. So that looks good to me. 
And now we have a nice looking image with a motivational quote that you can post on Instagram or you can post on Facebook or anything that you want. So that's kind of the basics of uh, Photoshop. And let's say you actually want to save this image to uh, print out or something like that. It's really easy. Just go File, Save As right here. And you can save it right here and you can save it as a Photoshop file right here or you can save it as a JPEG. But if you want to print this image, you can. I usually just save it as a PDF. So right here, Photoshop PDF. Um, and, and I just, you, you can just rename it to whatever it is that you want and you save it right here. So that's the basics of Photoshop. If you guys have any questions, you can comment down below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me know uh, what the next video you guys want me to make is. Uh, it could be anything, not just Photoshop. It could be Illustrator, it could be Adobe InDesign or it could be um, After Effects, anything that you guys want. I'll try to make a video on that. So comment down below with any questions you guys have and I'll see you in the next video.